Is Aging a Disease? I've recently delved into two books on aging, Lifespan by David Sinclair and Ageless by Andrew Steele. Both offer profound insights into the nature of aging and the cutting-edge research aimed at decelerating or even reversing the process. An interesting fact pointed out is that due to the advances in technology, we are accelerating the aging escape velocity. For every extra year we stay alive currently, we extend another three months. If we manage to extend one year for each year alive, we have essentially solved the aging conundrum. Though I highly encourage everyone to explore these books further, I'll distill their essence into practical steps for consideration. Understanding aging. On a fundamental level, atoms, molecules, and even DNA do not age. Interestingly, certain cancer cells exhibit no signs of aging too. The same happens to some animals like the lobster that shows no signs of senescence. So, what exactly is aging and can it be reversed? Aging primarily results from our cells' diminished ability to perform their intended functions. For example, when skin cells lose the ability to produce collagen, wrinkles form, yet the DNA blueprint for collagen production remains intact with time, as does the energy to combat entropy as far as we keep the intake. Aging encompasses a range of factors, from telomere shortening to epigenetic decay, making it a complex yet potentially solvable challenge that has been reversed in laboratory settings in many ways. The detriments of aging. The adverse effects of aging are undeniable. Aging is the leading risk factor for developing numerous diseases. Addressing aging at its root can potentially eliminate the primary cause of many ailments. Astonishingly, the negative consequences of aging far exceed those associated with smoking, sedentary lifestyles, or poor diet on a young individual. If we are able to reduce or solve the aging problem, we will be able to live much healthier lives and reduce the suffering of humankind. Strategies. Please note, the following suggestions are not medical advice. Genetic analysis. This must be your starting point. Collect information about yourself in a deep level. This will create a baseline understanding of your predisposition for some diseases and risks. For example, the technology is at a stage that you can know the probability of developing a disease decades before you actually feel any symptoms and proactively act to reduce the chances to a minimum with medicaments or lifestyle. Dietary choices. Your focus must be in reducing sugar intake. Excessive sugar consumption is a significant yet often overlooked health risk. Consensus among scientists and data indicates sugar's harmful effects on multiple levels, including inflammation and diabetes, and its potential link to cognitive decline. Adopting a diet rich in vegetables, healthy fats, such as nuts and avocados, and minimizing processed foods is a disable. Alcohol and smoking, ideally eliminating the consumption of hard, distilled alcohol and cigarettes is recommended. The way I approach it, as I enjoy wine, I try to make the consumption moderated and the exception, not the norm, on my daily routine. Fasting. Caloric restriction data has been clearly linked to longevity and improved health in many animals, including mammals research. Fasting offers similar benefits without the constant sensation of hunger. Each individual must choose what is right for them. My strategy lies on not having breakfast most days and try not to eat the 24 haze once every two weeks. Exercise. Engaging in physical activity three to four times a week is essential. Exercise significantly reduces all-cause mortality. Weight training becomes increasingly important with age as muscle mass is synonymous with health. Other sports that involve coordination, like racket sports, are also linked to a much better cognitive function with age. Preventive health care. Regular health checkups are crucial for early detection and prevention of diseases. There are technologies already that can detect many types of cancer in a stage one evolution, exponentially increasing the capacity of a cure. The same applies for heart-related diseases. You potentially could avoid a much more serious problem by routinely doing checkups. Supplementation. Consultation with a healthcare provider and extensive data collection is necessary before starting any supplements to understand your body's specific needs. While a balanced diet is preferable, supplementation can be beneficial for those unable to maintain an ideal diet daily. Although in many cases, there are room for optimization of your body needs with supplementation as far as you know where it is needed. Sleep. Quality. Sleep is vital for recovery. Using devices like the Whoop or Oura Ring 
to monitor and improve sleep quality can be beneficial. Personal experiments, such as adjusting dinner times and content, can significantly enhance sleep quality. By embracing these strategies, we can approach aging not as an inevitable decline, but as a challenge to be met with informed, proactive measures. Life is all about the journey, not the destination. If we are able to have more good years in our lives, why not strive for it?